Hello my dear friends, very warm welcome to my channel Smriti Jain Arts. So today we will be covering how to make a grid on a circular canvas and we will be doing a small uh, dot painting here. So the most important thing when we do a dot mandala is it has the design needs to come out very symmetrical throughout your painting. So for that, if you have a proper grid in place, it helps you to put the dots very properly in a circular manner or leaves pattern or whatever you want to do. So first thing you need to is a white colored pencil, which is erasable to do the grid. So here I have a small circular board. These are the stencils which you get in the market. If you have these, you can easily go ahead and do the basic markings on your board, place it properly and then you can do it. I'm going to show you one another way of to find the center and draw the grid. If you don't have this, you can make your own grid at home using a normal paper. So for that, what you need to do is just place your canvas whatever size it is I am going to cut a circle of the exact size of my canvas board so here you can see I have cut a paper of the same size of my board just check if it is perfect okay and then to find the center of the circle what we are going to do is first we are going to fold it like this and then again fold it like this okay and wherever you will place it this point comes at the center of the board so you can mark a center here so this is the center so for partitioning also what I'm going to do is now I'll just place it like this And draw a line here make sure that your pencil is erasable you can use white chalk or something like that because it should not leave white marks behind when you are done with your painting so here after drawing one line we have to again put it like this mark it here and here And then just join these two points. For further partitioning, again fold it. And then place it here one more line this helps in giving a very uh, symmetrical look to your paintings Okay, so we have uh, eight equal partitions now. now. Now when you have these lines drawn nicely, you can easily use a compass to make smaller circles. It depends on what type of design you are going to make, how many circles you need to draw. If you want some leaf patterns here, there are ways to draw the leaves like this. But today I am going to cover a very simple design, so I have just drawn it like this. Okay, it is visible. 
so I'm using the basic favicryl colors today and these are the tools which I'm going to use if you want the details of these things you can check my previous video <coughs> so let's start first I'll put a white dot in the center make it a thicker one now we'll put the small dots around the circle Try to place the outer dots in the center of the previous drop circle like this. This is a very basic design which I am doing, showing just to get comfortable with the dotting pattern and the tools. So here on these lines I am going to put some big dots. Give some volume to these dots by adding more paint. We will do the walking dots now.
you want to make the nested look uh, nested dots when you want to put dot on top of a dot you need to wait for the first drop to dry So this is the final design. This is the simplest mandala which I have attempted today for the beginners. So hope you all liked it. Please do subscribe to my channel and leave your comments section below and let me know if I have missed out on something. Please do try it once and let me know how your design has come out. See you soon with a new video.